Global Recession Looming the Dow plunges another 1,000 points for the third day this week as markets are sounding the alarm bells of an imminent global recession. The coronavirus panic wipes out $6 trillion off world stocks. The U.S. stock market suffered a historic pullback this week as the coronavirus spread outside of China, spooking investors and traders out of equities. Shares around the world have lost the equivalent of two years of the output of the entire UK economy in value just in the last week, squeezing investments such as pension funds. Reality has hit. Coronavirus isn't just a problem for China's economy but for all our fortunes. Everyone will be affected. As outbreaks of the virus have multiplied around the globe, it's become clear that the economic disruption will be equally widespread now. From carmakers to electronics giants like Apple, global manufacturing supply chains are being hit by factory shutdowns in China. But customer demand is also affected. Efforts to contain the disease has hit travel and tourism very badly. Sales are falling as people stay away from bars, restaurants, and shops. All this comes at what is already a difficult time for the world economy. China, Japan, Italy, Germany, and the UK are among the countries where growth has already been faltering. Some economists are warning that perhaps $1 trillion could be knocked off global growth this year alone. A hit that will be hundreds of times greater than that of SARS, for example. There have been sharp falls in global stock markets worldwide. The total cost of this week's plunging values has been more than $6 trillion. In the UK, for example, the FTSE 100 closed the week 13% down. That's the biggest fall since 2011. The Governor of the Bank of England said the UK's forecast for economic growth is being downgraded, and some fear there could be a global recession. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my two backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you. The global stock markets have lost $6 trillion in value in six days. The coronavirus-driven market sell-off has wiped out $6 trillion in value from the global markets in the past six days, according to S&P Dow Jones Indices. U.S. stocks lost about $4 trillion of its value in the same period. The Dow just lost 12% in one week. The Dow and S&P 500 each dropped 12% and 11% for the week, respectively, marking their worst weekly performance since the financial crisis. Stock prices are falling faster and harder than they ever have before. If the financial markets are in this much chaos even though not a single American has died from the coronavirus yet, what are things going to look like if this outbreak starts sweeping across America like wildfire? Stock markets around the world are plunging into correction territory as investors fear the surging of coronavirus cases outside of China will escalate the deadly virus to a pandemic. Confirmed cases worldwide pass 85,000, deaths top 2,900, cases jump in South Korea and Iran, including lawmakers. Italy becomes the first non-Asian nation to top 1,000 confirmed cases. The outbreak will hit global supply chains, economic growth, and government revenues. Until such time as governments pump liquidity into the markets and coronavirus cases peak, markets will be jittery, triggering sell-offs. Fairs, exhibitions, events, and congresses are cancelled worldwide. New York Stock Exchange considers shutting entire NYSE trading floor amid coronavirus fears as Wall Street firms tell workers to prepare to work from home. More events were scrapped or delayed, from a Paris race to a Riviera property conference to a Greek economic forum, as nations try to discourage travel. The Chinese President Xi Jinping cancelled a rare state visit to Japan in April. The Chinese factory activity fell to a record low after weeks of closures caused by the virus. Coronavirus fears drop net worth of 500 richest people in the world by $444 billion in one week, with Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, the biggest losers. This financial panic shows just why the stock markets are nothing more than an ongoing Ponzi scheme, a rolling crap game that has gone out of control. It has reached new highs based on smoke and mirrors, and it only takes a mere whisper of a suggestion that something could go wrong to send the rats running for the lifeboats or the exits. Garbage in, garbage out. Most importantly, the stock market was way oversold and overvalued for what it actually is, and there have always been periods of the balloon bursting at the end of bull runs, and something out of the ordinary causing it. 
Just so happens this time around it was an international flu bug that behaves unlike any other that the world has seen in over 100 years. The recession is coming. The coronavirus and the lockdown of Lombardy and Veneto regions, which generates 31% of GDP, will be a catastrophe for Italy. The decrease in GDP could reach 3% in the first and second quarter of 2020, with a loss up to 27 billion. Lombardy and Veneto, the two regions most affected by the phenomenon, account for 31% of the Italian GDP. Arithmetically, a 10% decrease in GDP in these two regions is worth a 3% decrease in that of the entire country. The Chinese manufacturing index has plummeted to a minimum. And the halting of production chain will have cascade repercussions all over the world. The Manufacturing PMI February Purchasing Managers Index fell in China to the record low of 35.7, from 50 in January and in spite of 46 expected by analysts. Discounting the impact of the coronavirus epidemic that blew up the production and distribution chain across the country. The non-manufacturing PMI also fell to its lowest level of 29.6, the National Statistical Office NBs, announced. Two months into this outbreak, travel restrictions and enforced quarantines are still preventing millions of people from returning to work. China's war against the coronavirus includes a battle to save its businesses and economy too. For the first time in decades, China could see its economy contracting. Growth is forecast to be 0%, or worse, for the first quarter of the year. The year as a whole could see the economy shrinking by 2%. Almost two-thirds of companies say they face operation difficulties, and mass redundancies are possible. A 1% rise in employment would see 4.5 million people lose their jobs. Markets are heading toward a crash for the next two years. The coronavirus will cause a global recession said the economist chief of Moody's. Italy will be one of the most affected countries, because it has very little room for maneuver in terms of monetary and fiscal policy to react. The only effective response from the government is to work hard now to contain the infection and to be transparent with its citizens so that they can better prepare themselves to face the crisis. Economist of Moody's Analytics has just published a study with which he estimates that the epidemic will reduce growth in the U.S. by six-tenths of a percentage point during the first three months of 2020, bringing it down to 1.3%, and two-tenths for the whole year, falling to 1.7%. However, the research raises the probability of a recession in the U.S. and around the world during the first half of 2020 from 20 to 40% if COVID-19 becomes a pandemic. The effects of fear, however, have already been seen for days on Wall Street. If the coronavirus becomes a pandemic and arrives in the US, I don't see how a recession can be avoided. We are already seeing them, not only in travel and tourism. American manufacturing companies will export less to Asia and Europe due to falling demand. At the same time, imports from these hardest-hit regions will decrease, leading to a lack of parts, components, and retail products in the market, along with an increase in prices, which will limit consumer spending. But consumer confidence is the element that has kept the U.S. economy up to now, and if it falters, there will be inevitable negative effects. If the markets continue to lose a thousand points a day, people will worry very quickly. It will be very difficult to avoid a global recession. The global economy was very weak even before the coronavirus. Trump's trade wars have done much damage, as has Brexit and now uncertainty over his trial. The global economy was in trouble, and even if the virus didn't come, it was already vulnerable to many other things that could go wrong. If the pandemic breaks out, it is not difficult to imagine scenarios in which it will be a severe challenge, due to the lack of obvious political responses, particularly in Europe and Italy. There is little that governments can do. There is no good political response to the economic impact of the virus. Interest rates are already very low or negative, and the central banks cannot do much to help with monetary policies. Even on the fiscal side, however, there is very little space, particularly in Italy. It is unclear what rulers can do to mitigate COVID-19's economic impact. This makes it even more urgent that the virus is contained because it would be very difficult to respond from a monetary and financial point of view. If the governments are not transparent about what is going on, they will spread more panic, undermining confidence, and exacerbating the economic impact. So it is critical that they do their utmost to contain the virus, and be clear about what is happening and what can happen so that people can do what they need to prepare. 
This is going to get worse, and the markets know that it's going to be even worse in this country. We won't be able to get our money out of our investment accounts and, or it will be delayed. Hell, we may go into a depression, and all those safeguards will not be able to save us our money. Meanwhile, Trump rallies his base to treat coronavirus as a hoax. While first American death is reported in Washington state, suggesting the disease is already spreading on the West Coast. These are just the beginning of pangs of distress. Pandemic, economic crash, world war, and natural disaster looming. Events on the world stage may soon escalate to terrifying near-extinction level events of world war, earthquakes, famine, and plagues. It's time for all to stop pinning their hopes in the very men who, through their corruption and greed, have orchestrated the collapse of this nation. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and please take some time to subscribe to my two backup channels, I do upload videos there too on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you.